Every day after school, several dozen children show up outside a small building in New Taipei, Sansha. They certainly learn there, but it's not a cram school. Instead, it aspires to be a second home for some of Taiwan's most vulnerable children. Founded by Jeffrey Lin, a social entrepreneur, Grass Bookhouse is staffed by teachers and volunteers who tend to the children's schoolwork and teach them skills and crafts. And most important of all, they make sure the kids are fed, cared for, and loved. Let's head to Sanxia for our Sunday special report. Under the conductor's careful tutelage, the children in this Beiguan ensemble strike up a tune. They're rehearsing at Grass Book House in New Taipei City's Sanxia district. Grass Book House was created in 2015 by Jeffrey Lin, founder of an art space called The Can. Working with Sanxia's junior high and primary schools, Grass Book House welcomes children from troubled families after school lets out each day. Its mission is to keep kids out of trouble. The teachers here make sure that the children have finished their schoolwork and eaten a filling meal. After dinner, it's time for some supplementary instruction. Elsewhere in the building, volunteers are hard at work providing one-on-one -on -one tutoring, although this little one is less than attentive. What they want is for you to pay attention to them. The children here, they might be from families with a large number of children. Not all are able to get attention from their families. Some children who come here are from single-parent households or are being raised by their grandparents. Some have a parent in prison. So the teachers provide parenting as well as education, and many of the kids see them as family. Brother Jeffrey, as he's called around here, is a father figure for many. I think that keeping the child company is a very important process, letting them know that they matter. These interactions may not happen often in the homes of these children. They may be entirely absent. Lin knows the importance of a home with warmth, perhaps because it was missing from his own childhood. His father was a brutal alcoholic who, after troubles at work, would return home and beat his wife, leaving his son with deep emotional scars. After graduating from high school, Lin completed only one semester of college before dropping out. Then, he met the man who would change his life. Finances at home were quite strained, so I entered the workplace and did my learning there. I feel very fortunate to have met Xu Xiaoxuan and to have started working on programs. He took great care of me. When I was doing my military service and no one from my family came to visit, he came to the base to see me. In my heart, that was a huge source of support and comfort. I felt that there was someone who cared about me. This is the tofu shop at the Grass Life Skills Academy. Lin arranges for high school students at Grass Book House to intern here on the weekends. As he himself entered the job market straight after high school, he believes it's not in every child's best interest to stay on the academic track. Some children actually don't excel academically, and I don't think it's necessary to keep demanding that they get good scores on exams or, or work hard in this arena. It's possible that there's another path for them, another choice. Letting the child work or try learning in a different field, letting them see some personal achievement. This is Xu Junyu, who's in the eighth grade this year. He's a strong and steady boy with a work ethic to match. But when he first arrived at the Grass Book House a few years ago, he was a child with emotional problems, a ticking time bomb. Back in the fourth grade, he would get in a rage and turn a desk over. The boy's explosive emotions followed him into the Grass Book House. As soon as he got in a state, you'd have to keep him company, wait for him, deal with it, and not simply let the matter pass. Whenever he was angry and crying, that was when everyone hated him. And I would take out my phone and let him take selfies, so he could see what he looked like when angry. After seeing himself, he would calm down a bit. 
After the anger passed, I would then talk to him. Why did you get angry just now? What situation did you encounter? Isn't there another way to deal with it? Slowly but surely, the teachers built up Junyu's confidence and helped him feel more comfortable with group activities. Lin helps children like Junyu progress from Grass Book House to Grass Life Skills Academy, where they intern in a shop or study under Sanxia's master craftsman and learn techniques like leatherwork and wood carving. We often talk about getting young people to come back and settle down in their hometowns, but I think there's a problem here. Why is it that in the course of their education, we urge children to leave home? We believe that the local community should start to provide skills training. So in our Life Skills Academy, the child can learn wood carving, and he can use those skills to make repairs on the local temple. He can also pass it on to students in the future. Days before Dragon Boat Festival, Lin showed a group of children how they could make their own zongzi, or sticky rice dumplings. As the children copied him, they filled the room with chatter and laughter. Many of them don't celebrate this holiday at home, and they don't make zongzi with their families or eat zongzi. Grass Book House isn't purely an educational institution, and it's not after-school care. It's a refuge for children. It's their home. With endless patience and a bit of creativity, Lin passes on treasured traditions to the children in hopes of improving their life chances and providing the warmth of a family.